Well, buffets and feasts bring families together for birthdays and holiday events, but it's important to keep food safety in mind so it doesn't make anyone sick. With more, here's ABC's Ike Jachi. As many of us get together for the holidays, there are some things to keep in mind if you're hosting a buffet to keep food safe and bacteria free. The FDA says hot foods need an internal temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. Use chafing dishes, slow cookers, and thermometers to keep food hot. Eggs and egg dishes can be trickier. After taking them out of the refrigerator, they need to be reheated to 165 degrees Fahrenheit before serving. Another option is to use pasteurized eggs found in the refrigerator or frozen food section at the supermarket. Meantime, cold foods should be kept at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. So keep cold food refrigerated until serving time or on ice if it'll stay out for more than two hours. For all dishes, don't add new food to a partially filled dish. Instead, replace it with a freshly filled one. If it's a hot day of 90 degrees or more, foods can only be left out safely for one hour. And don't forget to encourage everyone to wash their hands. With this Medical Minute, I'm Ike Giacci.